first things first, for Bible journaling, we need a Bible. This is my second Bible journaling Bible. I had another one, uh, which I'm going to link here below. It was really beautiful. I think I liked it more than this one, just that it brought like customized designs inside the Bible, like already printed, so like you could color it and stuff. Um, so maybe that's like if you do not want to do your own designs or write your own things on it, it already brings the designs. Anyway, I did not particularly love that one, so I bought this one. It was definitely uh, very, very affordable. Um, it's called the uh, Journal the World Bible, um, the King James Version. Um, all my life since I was in school, I would just use the King James Version, so I got very, very used to that one and there's something in me against using other types of versions I don't even know why it's just my personal thinking so I just love the King James version <laughs> It's your typical journaling Bible. It has margins along the scriptures, as you can see here, so you can write in there. The pages are not as thick as I would like them to be, but honestly, it's pretty good. Like if you can see here, um, I wrote on this page and here, you can kind of see what I wrote on the other page, but you can still write here and you are able to read it. Um, it's not like it totally bleeds through. Um, I don't think there is any particular Bible that it doesn't bleed through at all. Um, obviously, the pages have to be this thin because if not, the volume would be huge, right? But um, overall, I think it's pretty good. It does bring like two separating tassels or whatever you call them. Um, so I think one is for the New Testament and one is for the Old Testament, which is pretty cool. Um, I did this myself uh, looking at a tutorial, which is pretty fun. We might be able to do them later. They're super easy to do. Believe me, if I did them, you can totally do them yourself. Um, but yeah, pretty much this this is my number one tool for Bible journaling because obviously you need a Bible for it. stationery so this is my little card with the stationery that as I told you I have quite a lot of it um, so basically here I have my um, stabilo markers I have the tumbo pens I have sharpies um, I have a lot of these ones that are more like for outlines and stuff you know like this particular ones um, with the brush pen but yeah I use all of those I use like these Crayola super tips which are super good um, and then also what I like for Bible journaling is a lot of like sticky notes and stuff so you can use just like your regular sticky notes from post-its and then I also like to use uh, these washi tapes just for decorations or whatever here I have some other of my favorite stationery so basically I keep all of it in a pencil pouch in here my favorites of course are the zebra mild liner or whatever you call them I I love all of these colors. Um, I got them as highlighters, so like the tip is that way and you can highlight the birds. But you also have this other fine tip, which is super good for like um, lettering and stuff in the Bible page. Um, they're not super watery or whatever, so the bleed through is pretty minimal, honestly. Um, my other favorites are these paper made. Um, pens they have like this really nice tip and that you can see through the page in the Bible but it's not totally bleed through these other ones are amazing too these are Faber Castle um, brand and I totally love them they are also very very cool then for the actual writing um, I like to use this um, pen it's actually um, the big um, brand uh, it's as you can see it's super normal it's not even like a lettering pen um, it's like kind of like a ball pen if, if you know what I mean and it's super super good to actually write on the Bible and not have it bleed through so yeah basically that's all the things that I use um, these are the ones that I use most frequently so that's why I keep them in these very dirty pencil pouch so you can see it says love and I really love it that I really like to do when Bible journaling and I learned this from a few people that I follow that do this is that you read through the chapter first and then you Bible journal. Um, hopefully you read through it at least three times just so that you really know what they're talking about that you can find patterns and that way you can highlight accordingly. So to do that I use this other Bible. It's not a journaling Bible. It's just my normal Bible. I've had these since I was in high school um, and I love it. Um, just look at the designs in there. It's just amazingly beautiful. 
beautiful um, so basically if you can see I have a lot of little sticks in there they have like a specific code so each of the colors have their own meaning and that's why they are stuck in those particular pages um, anyway I like to, to read through the chapter here first um, if I have something to highlight I will highlight it um, it maybe even put a sticky note or something but then all of that I'm going to put it in my journaling Bible just because this is like an overview um, just like a raw draft of what I'm going to learn and then I put the whole thing into my journaling Bible so that's something that you could um, implement if you're afraid of um, missing if you're afraid of messing up or make, committing a mistake when journaling, you can totally just read in the normal Bible and then you can go through your Bible journaling uh, with the actual thoughts that you want to implement there, all summarized and more to the point, if that makes sense. Contrary to people's belief, I don't like listening to music when Bible journaling. Um, I feel it totally takes away my concentration, especially if I know the song, I will start singing along. Um, obviously by music, I mean Christian music, right? But even then, it's kind of too disturbing for me. Um, what I might listen to sometimes is just like classical music so I think those are okay for me but I cannot listen to anything with a lyric because I'll automatically pay attention to it I'm not really to my Bible journaling so that's something you can try out maybe you like listening to music and it enhances your attention but if you're like me you might not like it too much here um, I might there's a kid shouting outside patience and lastly I'm just going to give you a little bit of a flip through through my actual um, Bible journaling, what I have done so far, so that you can tell me in the comments how is it looking, am I getting there, am I not, and just you can show me too how you are doing that Bible journaling, I'm very excited to see it, um, there are a lot of things that I still need to learn that I still don't know how to do, but I'm getting there, and again, I just like explaining this just so that I can understand it myself, right, you want to have like your own key for the particular passage you're reading, you want to follow like steps, first step might be totally different from mine, you know, like instead of reading through it, you might want to do something else or you might memorize it before journaling or I don't know, whatever you like to do, there's different ways of doing it. You can totally search it up in YouTube and Google, there's a lot more people that are doing this way better than me, but this is my very first step and I kind of want to record this just so that in the future when I keep doing it, I can see the improvement. So let's get into this flip through. <laughs> today's video thank you so much for watching i hope this inspired you a little bit to get into that bible journaling world if not bible journaling itself at least diving into the word of god and really looking at what he has to say for us remember that this is the only way in which we get to talk with him aside from his holy spirit and our prayers to him the only way we can get an answer from him is through his word and i'm personally really trying to get inside of that because there are so many things that this world wants to tell us there are so many things that my old nature wants to come up with to distract me from what God really wants to say in his word. I don't want to let all those other voices make me deaf for God's word. I want to be able to hear God's word a mile away and this is basically my main reason for Bible journaling and I'm so excited to finally have begun 
especially with this video and showing you guys how I've been doing it and just continue improving and I'm so excited to see what his blessings, what his promises, what his will for me is through his word that I will certainly be posting more videos like this if it also helps you to just get deeper into the Bible and actually see the amazing things that God has in store for us. Once again, I'm very happy with this, with today's video. I hope you are too and I'll definitely see you next time. Goodbye!